Hi guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to show you the brick and mortar workflow. This workflow has 78 presets and 28 brushes and what it's really great for is your architectural photography. So anything with buildings, lines, it'll help you enhance color, texture, contrast, all of that. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I have this photograph already pulled up and I'm just going to go ahead and start in my all-in-one presets. So I've got my brick and mortar presets open and I'm going to start with the all-in-one expanded dynamic range. For anyone who doesn't know what dynamic range is, uh, the easy way to put it is that it is the ratio between your lights and darks in your photograph. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the tone. So I'm going to go down and these presets are stackable so if I put one preset on top of another it doesn't cancel them out it just adds to it so I'm gonna to go to my tone presets and I'm looking for the cinematic one the next thing I'm gonna do is color correct so I'm gonna to go to my color correct presets and I'm gonna go for the less greens and less yellows just because right now it is a little bit green and a little bit yellow So we've balanced it out a little bit color and tone wise. The next thing I'm going to do is brighten the shadows so I can really bring some light back into the photograph. So I'm going to go into my exposure, brighten shadows. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our polish presets and I'm going to choose enhance highlight. All right, so now that I've got the enhanced highlights on there, you can see it's brought a lot of light and contrast back into the photograph. So now that I'm done with the presets, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brushes. So I'm going to go and open up my brick and mortar brushes. The first brush I'm going to use is the temperature brush cooler. And I'm going to use this brush to kind of add cooler tones into the photograph in certain areas. So the first part I'm going to start with is the train. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this along the windows here. And down here. And then I'm going to use it a little bit on this wall here because this wall is a little bit kind of yellow orange. All right, so if you put your mouse or your little hand over here, you can see all the areas that I've highlighted with the brush. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just turn the temperature down a little bit more so everything is just a little bit cooler. So now that I've used the temperature cooler brush, I'm going to hit new and I'm going to start with a different brush. So I'm going to go to my polish brushes and I'm going to go for the cool haze. And I'm going to use this brush a little bit in the same areas. This brush is basically going to give me a nice blue color all along the photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the saturation up a little bit on this brush. Alright, the next brush I'm going to use is my Exposure Darken brush. First I'm going to hit New actually, and then I'm going to go use my Exposure Darker brush. And I'm going to use this just in some of the areas where I just kind of want to make some shadows
All right, so the last brush I'm gonna do is I'm first I'm gonna hit new, and then I'm gonna go to my enhance brushes, and I'm gonna choose the city lights, and I'm gonna use that in all the areas that I wanna add a whole lot of light to. All right, so I've gone ahead and finished this photograph and we're gonna look at the before and after. Okay, so as you can see, we've added a whole lot of light back into the photograph. We've added color and detail back into the train added a lot of light coming from the tunnel and up towards the steps and just overall enhanced and polished the photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to another photograph now. Alright, so now I have this really nice picture of the Scott Monument in Edinburgh, Scotland. And I've actually seen this monument in person and one of the great things about it is all the detail in the architecture. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull some of that detail out. So first I'm going to start with my presets and I'm going to go to my base presets. And for this one I'm going to use the good start for cityscapes. So already that's kind of expanded the dynamic range and added a lot of contrast and light back into the photograph. The next one I'm going to use is an exposure preset and so we're going to use the exposure brighten shadows. Now I'm going to use a polish preset and I'm going to go for the make it pop. And now I want to go to my tone presets and I'm going to use that same tone, the cinematic, that we used earlier. And I'm going to use one more tone preset and I'm going to go for the color explosion. Alright, so here's a before and after. You can already see the difference and all I've done is stacked five presets on top of each other. It took me a couple of seconds. It's a really quick edit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the brushes to really enhance the photograph. So the first brush I'm going to use is an enhanced details brush. So it's right here and I want to use this brush mainly on the monument here to really kind of bring out the detail and texture that's in the brickwork here. I'm going to use it along these steps and the railings as well. And I'm going to use it on this building back here. The next brush I'm going to use is a color brush. So hit new. I'm going to go to brick and mortar color yellow. And I'm going to use this brush basically on the monument as well. And this building in the back. Basically in the same areas I added the details. And I'm also going to use this yellow color brush to kind of add 
just a little bit of color difference and color variation in the grass here. I'm going to use another color brush now. First I have to hit new and I'm going to go for saturation and I'm just going to use this in areas where I feel like there needs to be more saturation. So right up on the step. I'm going to put some more in the monument down here in the grass. All right, the next brush I'm going to use is an enhanced window reflection brush. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new and then I'm going to go into my enhanced brushes and go for the window reflections. And I've made my brush really small, but I'm going to go ahead and use the this brush to kind of really bring out the little details in these windows. And what this brush is doing is basically just really bringing out the highlights and the shadows as well. All right, so I'm just about finished with this photograph. Here we can see the before and after. So what we've done is we've put a whole lot of detail back into the monument and really pulled out that contrast that's from the really nice brick. And we've kind of added a little bit of saturation, light, and contrast. So I'm going to move on to a third picture now. All right, so the, for this photograph, I'm not going to use too many presets because what I'm really going to do is use the brushes to really bring out the detail. So first I'm going to start with an all-in-one preset. And I'm going for all-in-one city lights, which has really brought a lot of color and light back into the photograph. Then I'm going to go to exposure. I'm going to use the exposure preset for less highlights. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a tone preset. I'm going to go for the tone warmer. All right, so now I'm going to move on to my brushes. And I'm going to go into my brick and mortar brushes. And I'm going to go and use the exposure brighten highlights. And I'm going to go ahead and use this brush wherever I think I need to really add some light. So definitely in these buildings back here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use it up in these clouds to add a little more definition. Now I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to use the in the exposure darken highlights brush. And I'm going to use that in the areas where I feel I need to put some shadows. So So to further enhance the clouds, I'm going to use the enhance brush and it's going to say enhance clouds. Make sure you hit new first. Sometimes I forget to hit new in between. So new, enhance clouds. This is just going to bring contrast and clarity back into the clouds. It did kind of darken them up a little bit, so I am going to just pull the exposure up and adjust it a little bit and pull the contrast down just a tiny bit. 
and move the highlights back up a little bit. I'm going to go back to my Enhance brushes, brushes. So first I'm going to hit New, Enhance Brushes, and I'm going to go to the Enhance Details. And I'm going to use this brush on the buildings so I can really enhance the details of the architecture. So the last brush I'm going to use is another enhanced brush and I'm going to go for the enhanced sunset. And if you're looking at this photograph, the sun is kind of going directly at the building right here in this direction. So we're going to use it all around there. Just to add a little bit more of an orange glow because it looks like the sun is setting. And I'm going to even make that expand down into the street here. All right, so I'm done with this photograph. Here's the before and after. So as you can see, we've really upped the dynamic range, added contrast, color, tone, and light into this photograph. And it just really looks great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you can try it for yourself soon.